it's all right i think that's enough waiting around hello everyone welcome back to retro break gameplay retro break live i don't really know what to call this hello welcome back to twitch or youtube live streaming i guess today we are checking out trip world dx and maybe the original as well because i have them both right here from limited run but first of all i want to make sure that the controller is actually working good good sometimes it doesn't so that is a good sign but first let us just go onto the top down cam and zoom in a little bit because as is tradition when i'm checking out something new the first thing we should do is uh, do a little unboxing so i'm going to open that off camera so i don't get in trouble this one i haven't opened at all yet this is the dx one so let's see what comes in this box right here so first of all i guess let's take a look at the box itself there we go really nice brand new artwork for the dx version too very nice indeed got the sunsoft and limited run logos at the top there and then we have a uh, really nice back cover as well with a little glimpse as to what's to come with the color in the game which is very exciting there we go an all new colorized version of the original trip world can't wait to check it out i'm a big fan of the original let's see if the instruction manual is also colorized there we go thank you very much for your support and it is in color what little color there is anyway a little bit about the controls it's a very simple platformer controls don't really need that much uh, introduction there's a look at some of the different stages and a look at the characters look at all the cute little characters there hey blueberry moon how are you doing i might need to turn my microphone down a little bit i think let's try that yeah there's a look at some of the characters uh there's only five stages and it may sound like that's not a lot but this game is incredibly difficult so we'll see how far we can get there's a look at some of the different abilities that you can do in the game although most of the time you don't actually attack the enemies they just sort of walk around which is a bit strange oh that's nice and we get a nice little comic strip in the back too i wasn't expecting that and there you go you can see it has something to do with the uh carbon engine although i thought that was only for emulation so a bit weird why it says that and now let's take a look at the cartridge itself interesting it's kind of a translucent white plastic so you can sort of see the pcb underneath and then just to have a look at the other one as well the game for this one is actually here there's the game for the black and white version so this one is just a, a one for one recreation of the original trip world so you can see it's all in black and white or yellow and white i guess yellow and slightly less yellow but i'm curious to see whether this instruction book is in black or white or color so the uh, the actual image on it is different too so you can see some things have moved around a little bit there but let's see whether they went with the yellow yeah they did that's cool so i'm guessing it's the same instruction booklet yeah just with the yellow and black graphics instead including the characters too so that's really nice so um we'll play a little bit of the original one first so we'll pop back on main put that in there and we'll be playing it on the analog pocket of course and i have just updated it because um got something else cool let's pop on camera for a second something else cool that came over something i've been waiting for for a long time Look what's finally showed up. Well, maybe you won't be able to guess from that, but look inside. Oh my God, finally got all the adapters for the uh, analog pocket. So we have, it's really hard to actually see what the different ones are because it's like, it's just got to, you can't even see it on camera. There's a little bit of text right in the corner. Anyway, they are for the Atari Lynx, the PC Engine and the Neo Geo Pocket and the Game Gear. So I might do a full video about how all that works in the future but anyway on with the game if i can press the right button there we go and enjoy the music in this game too because the music is just incredible Ooh, if it loads up properly it sounded a little weird then was that just just 
just restart that. Ah, that's better. How does it sound to you guys? Does it sound okay? It's always difficult to uh, kind of guess how it sounds on the stream. If anyone's watching the stream, can you just let me know whether the sound's okay? Yay, thank you. Um, so, I don't actually know how to how to go back to the menu on the analog pocket. Anyway, we'll restart it so we can have a look at the intro video. Make myself a bit louder. How about that? Okay, is that better? I'll try that. Move the mic a little closer too. Yay, perfect. Excellent. Unfortunately, I don't know how... Ah, there we go. I'm actually going to make it black and white so that we can actually see... Uh, see the difference. Or should we try and get a... Uh, oh, do you have to install the custom ones? I want to try and get it as close to how it looked on the back of the box as possible. We could try it, like Game Boy Pocket mode. That might look good. Or maybe that looks a little bit strange because it's uh, cause it's a bit scaled down. Ellie the IDK over on YouTube, hello. Yeah, that looks a little weird on such a big screen. Have a look how you can have it. You can have it like proper classic Game Boy. Which looks cool, but maybe it doesn't look too good on stream, so I'm just going to put it on analog and just leave it in black and white for now. There we go. Anyway, enjoy the music, because the music's amazing. And it may seem like a weird game, and it kind of is. Like, the enemies don't actually hurt you. And you can just give them flowers, and the flowers will just appear on top of their heads for some reason. But some of the enemies later on attack you, but these ones are just sort of walking around. And there's a bunch of different transformations and things that you can get. Look at him standing up on his back legs. It's cute. Oh, I've lost it, apparently. There is a way to transform. I've turned into a fish. Somehow. I think up. Up and B, is it? Yeah, there you go. Now we can fly. So. Maybe we can fly over there? Yeah. Just like Kirby. You do fall down, though, after a short while. It's also kind of interesting that this game has like proper physics as well, which is very uncommon for a Game Boy game, so it doesn't really feel stiff. Like... Oh, we can actually kick, kick that guy. I've lost my um, flower for some reason. Oh. Oh, it doesn't hurt me anyway. See what I mean? It's a bit weird. Some of the enemies in this game just don't seem to really do anything. Another good example of the physics in action there as well. He wants to attack me. Oh, you can just skip it out completely. And I have no idea what that was. And that's the first thing that's actually causing damage. Maybe the best thing to do is just fly over it. And the game does actually start out deceptively easy. Because some of the bosses later on do actually get quite difficult. I'm not sure whether the stereo sounds coming across on stream or not, but with headphones on, this game sounds so good. 
Like it really is a testament to how good the sound chip was on the original Game Boy. And I'm I'm so glad that I've got this as well. I'm just gonna have a look on eBay and have a look at how much this game's going for these days because it's super insanely expensive. Uh, if there is any that's not limited run at this point. Well, I can only see the limited run version. There's a Japanese one without a proper picture going for £1,500. There isn't any of the UK one on there. At least not box. There isn't. There's only limited run. And even they're going for like a few hundred now. It's crazy. There's um. There's a stupid water graded one. I'm gonna go on camera and show you this. Look how much they're trying to ask for that. Twelve thousand pounds for a graded copy of Trip World. Insane. So, yeah, very sought after game. I'm hoping that maybe I can find it in Japan and it might be a little cheaper. There is a UK version, but that's like several thousand pounds. So if I ever want to properly complete my Game Boy collection, I'll have to get the UK version of Trip World and that's like like a deposit for a, for a house or a good car kind of money. It's insane. So I won't be doing that anytime soon. Maybe when I become a YouTube millionaire. Hey, Gion, how are you doing tonight? Yeah, we don't talk about water grading. I remember Carl Jobs' video about it where he basically outed them as scammers. Hey, there we go. We got a proper attack now. I would say, if you want to buy this game officially without spending tons of money, you can get it on the uh, on the 3DS Virtual Console, but obviously that is gone now. Do you like that Mega Man style uh, death effect as well? I don't know if there's any point in killing this giant cat. It doesn't seem to really matter. I'll try and take him out. Oh my god! Can't let, can't even kill him. Let's just ignore him then. I told you this game just gets insanely difficult for no apparent reason. Very early on. But it's definitely worth flying up there and getting that. Because then at least you've got a proper attack for the boss. Let's ignore this Kirby looking guy. The interesting thing about this as well, you can just ignore most of the enemies if you don't want to bother fighting them. Don't trick me. Oh, it looks like there's something up there as well. Yay! Alright, full health. I'm not sure what these little guys do, they look like chows. The floor's slidey here as well. Trip World is in your top 5 original Game Boy. It's definitely a very interesting game. Like, it has a really unique atmosphere that's not like anything else. I will say the gameplay is a little strange. Uh, do I need to? There's no health bar or anything for the boss. I don't know what it's trying to get me to do. <laughs> Is that what he's doing? He's becoming bacon. Unbacon yourself. Ah, oh, damn it. 
Have you got any tips? I'm down to my last life already. Just getting as many hits as I can right there. I'm gonna be aggressive this time. Oh. Okay, just got to be more aggressive. There we go. Floaty Bacon is dead. Oh, this is this is the classic music. Here you go. Enjoy this one. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Oh, there's something I can do on here, actually. There we go. Look how much nicer that looks now. Frame blending. Hope you enjoyed that music. I'll turn it down a little bit now. I love that. That's probably my favourite Game Boy soundtrack. Uh, high ranking P says, where do you check the current price for Game Boy games? I was just having a look on eBay, honestly. If you know anywhere better, let me know. Oh, CX is good in the UK. That pretty much gives you the regular prices for things. And they've updated their mobile app recently as well. Mm, price charting is no good for the UK because it it just goes off American prices and then it converts them into pounds which isn't really that useful so I don't really know a good alternative mm, do I have to uh, hit his attack back maybe? Help me out again, again, Gion. What do I have to do? I'm guessing you have to just hit his attacks back. Not like that, though. We're going to start from the beginning again. All right, let's run through back to there. And then... If I die again, then we'll swap over to the DX one and we can check out what the difference is. Because that's like the main the main thing that I wanted to do today. Is there any benefit to giving these ones flowers as well? I feel like the frame blending's making the scroll in a little jerky. I don't want my flowers. He does. <laughs> I think adorable is the main benefit. And what is that? Is that a mouse? Why is it flying? Hello? Is it going to take me somewhere? No. I think this whole section is just for the fun atmosphere more than anything, isn't it? You can test out the fish. Whoa! That's cool if you can build the momentum up. Is there any plus to killing this guy? It reminds me of seeing uh, Proto Man in, in Mega Man 3, except you can just ignore it. Oh! Got something for it. Was that an extra life? I don't know, what's up with that guy? Flying upside down. Oh, is it just telling me, like, oh, you need to fly as well? Mm. 
Yeah, I think that was just explaining, like, hey, you do have the ability to fly if you want. I love the first level, it's just a really nice relaxing atmosphere. I wonder if there's like anything you can fly up to as well. No, this one's weird, you just become a bouncing ball. Oh yeah, if you hold the run button down, I forgot that, you can you can go faster. Not sure if there's any challenge at all to this section. Do you get anything for... These leaves become birds, I didn't know that. Do I get anything? Nope, again, it's just for random atmosphere. I feel like they were just having fun experimenting when they made this game. It's like, hey, check out what cool animations and characters we can do. It definitely feels very experimental. Space Age Hero, hello. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing tonight? We don't get anything for killing the giant cat. Do we get anything for going up there? No. Nothing at all. I thought there would be something up there. Waver Boy over on YouTube, hello. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. No worries. It's, uh, it's a very, very expensive game to buy officially. And it's usually ranked in a lot of top games lists for the system as well. So it does deserve its high price. For sure. I'm not sure if there's any benefit to going down there. There is something over here on the right that I didn't manage to get to last time. Or this time. No, we don't need that, but I'll get it anyway. No, I don't know whether these little guys do anything. Let's see if we can get back up. Ah, oh, it won't let me back up. I'm sure there's something useful hidden away in that alcove on the right. Do we get anything for taking these guys out? Again, they might be just little experiments from the developer. I hope he's not too upset that I just murdered his friend for no good reason. I'm sorry, little guy. I'll do the same to you. Right, maybe they just come back. How do you like me as a fish? <laughs> I don't think he likes that. No, no point to them guys. They're just there for fun. Alright, boss time. Get to fight the floaty bacon again. Just going on all out attack. Oh, he's scared now. He's hiding like I was. Yeah, perfect. We know how to do that. Alright, world three again, and we haven't lost a single life yet. Yeah, I figured you needed to be in fly mode, but before that point you get the extra tail ability and that stops you transforming into fly mode. Uh, Space Age Hero says, is it meant to be in colour? I'll pop back on camera for a second. I've got both versions, so we're going to play the black and white one first. And then, then we'll compare it to the DX one. So it is coming. There's the DX one, if you wanted to see. Very interesting design they've gone for on the cartridge. A nice, like, clear, translucent white. Looks really cool. And they did a nice thing with the instruction booklets as well, where they made the color one in color. And the, uh, the original in, like, a nice cream yellow design. I wonder if I can go... Oh no, I thought that was not part of the floor. 
So yeah, stick around. We'll check the other one out as well. I thought it would be good to give people uh, an idea of what they both look like so you actually know what's been changed. And it's so cool that there's an official colorization like with the original developer's blessing as well. Uh, if I remember right, there was something over here. Oh, I haven't noticed any issues with it. Let me try and put it in an actual Game Boy. It seemed fine in the analog pocket. Oh, yeah, you're right. I wouldn't have noticed that if you didn't tell me, but that's that's very tight. That's a really tight fit there. Hmm. I haven't noticed any issues. What, what were the mistakes in the manual? I haven't properly read through it yet. I like what they did with the uh, with the artwork on the inside. I'll have a look at that afterwards, anyway. Right. I don't think there's any point in. Oh, I guess he's just a mini version of the boss that's coming up at the end of this area. Just to teach you. Why, why can't I do that? I wasted all my tail and power on you guys. Something's happened. Risu Chu gifted a sub. Yay, thank you, Risu Chu. Now we've got to figure out how to kill this guy again. Why doesn't he have any boss music? Gion, help me, how do I do it? Do I need to get here with a tail attack? I have no idea what to do. Do I need to go back and get the tail attack and then run up there? Alright, I got it. Let's go. They're stretchy, but they don't seem to do anything. Okay, let's try again. I'm worried it's going to run out. That is all I needed to do. Oh my god, calm down! Whoa! Yay, we did it with one bit of life left. He was going a bit crazy at the end there. Whee. Let's turn back into a fish again. You can do it without the tail. I managed to do it now anyway. Unless something kills me on the way. Is there something down here? Ooh, that was lucky. Oh, nearly slid to my death there. Yeah, you know, we got the nice music back. Definitely my favourite song in the game. And we got the tail attack. Oh no, we got the flower attack. I don't know how you can tell. Hey, have the... Oh my god, I sent him flying. I love these just random bits of atmosphere. Like, have some flowers. <laughs> and that's all there is to it. And just enjoy the scenery. Look at the grass blowing in the wind. And it is slowing me down as well. Look at the physics on the seat. Look at him, he's just, he's just, oh, if you let go, he start rolling backwards as well. He's just a good friend. Can I stand on his head? Oh, go that way, go that way. Okay, it didn't help much. Oh, okay, now we have to fight, fight a weird fat penguin from out of nowhere. An angry penguin. He's dead. I just realised I didn't turn my light on. Let's see if it's plugged in. 
There we go. Didn't make much difference. There's too much stuff in the way. There we go. A little bit of purple. Who is this depressed looking guy? Don't you want me to have that? Oh, you turned him into a bouncy ball. get back up there. No. The fly mode looks like a cat. Let's find out. Oh, yeah, I guess so. No, we don't get fly mode because we have the flower again. I have a flower. I don't really understand why there's so many different enemies, but none of them do anything. Or well, they're, they're just friends. Just for fun. I want to go up there. Ow. Ah. And then randomly it just gets really difficult out of nowhere. Well, we can try and fly up the top this time. Let me through. There's health down there. Oh, maybe it's not worth getting. I bet there's something else there as well. Are you a boss? Is it? It's just a cake. <laughs> it's just a cake. Oh, no, I'm not allowed to leave. But it also doesn't attack. I feel a bit mean doing that. Just walk back and kick him in the face. Oh, he is retaliating. Good. What happens if I pick two up? Nothing. Look how shocked he is. Oh my god. Weird Poundland Kirby. Oh, he's trying to trick me. He hides as an apple. You can do that to the bosses too? I don't think it's going to help. I don't want to be a fish either. Hey, I did it. I thought he hit me then. Yay. It does look a little bit like that surprise Pikachu face, doesn't it? Here we go, level five. What weirdness are we going to encounter in this one? There's a butterfly that you can stand on. I don't even know what that is. I oh, just carry him with me. Flowers for everyone. What a weird game. Uh, is that the tail? Oh, it's a bouncy ball. Got some more cool music. More flower friends. Whoa. 
Yeah, I've played Gimmick. I've, I've been meaning to pick up the collection at some point. Um, I have it on the Famicom, actually. Euphoria, I think it was called over here, wasn't it? Same kind of game, but more based around the uh, the actual platform and, and physics. Where is this? Oh my god, come on, die! Do I have to attack the head? Not sure. Uh, could have just gave him a flower instead. That's a bit like gimmick, having to use these uh, diagonal platforms. Okay, I take it I shouldn't go that way. Yeah, it does feel like a, a more kid-friendly version of gimmick, doesn't it? Ah! Apart from that, that's not very kid-friendly. Wow, that is exactly like something from Mega Man, and the music as well, and the sound effects too. It sounds like Flashman. Uh oh, the king! Oh wow, okay. I thought that was going to be a lot harder than it was. Why is he so angry? It is like Proto Man. Ah, that's not fair. Where's the iframes? Game over. No. Right at the end. Okay, now let's check out the... Uh the DX version. Oh yeah, that is a little difficult to pull out of the uh, analog pocket as well. So, let's try... I might even check out another game after this. Yeah, it's not that casual friendly actually. Some of the bosses are a right pain. And there's a few random enemies as well which are also really difficult. Oh, I'm excited. Let's see what the DX version's like in comparison. Well, the intro looks really nice. Oh, was I right at the end? Oh yeah, gimmicks like hardcore NES platforming at its peak. It's a great game. It was very difficult though. We've even got colour bits on the on the logo. On the logo. And a brand new logo with DX underneath it too. Oh my god, wow. Okay, that looks really nice. Um the controls are the wrong way around though. I must not have changed that for the uh Game Boy colour. Super Game Boy mode. There we go, that's better. Now I can play it properly. Uh do we need to turn on frame blend in two for the water bits. What was it on? I think these look too weird on the on the stream. Oh why did it suddenly get super bright? It wasn't like that before. I thought it was like that. That's better. I've read his blog actually. It's really cool. He does some amazing, amazing work. I didn't even know this bit was supposed to have a background. <laughs> I 
Ah, of course the hedgehogs are blue. There's surprisingly a lot of different ways of kicking this little seed as well. Hey, get off me. Okay. Well, I still can't make out what that's actually supposed to be. It's cool seeing the water like this. That looks really nice. Ah! Oh good, it's not instant death. Hello. I still find that one so weird. Why why is it just like sliding around on its head? <laughs> it's probably my favourite enemy in the whole game. And you only see it once. Done again. Oh, this looks really nice. Like you can actually tell that it's a, a forest now. Not sure if those enemies do anything. There's a random Mr. Game and Watch style guy there too. And what is that? I thought it was like a a bird or something, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Oh yeah, when we get back to the bit um, before the boss at the end, I'm going to try and go into that alcove on the right this time. See if we can get through it. Oh, that looks really nice with the fire in the background too. So we're not going to pick that up. I think this is the right place. Or is it in the next area? I think it's the next bit. Oh no, it is here. Ah oh, no! Ah! <sighs> Should I die on purpose? I don't think these little guys can kill me. I'm going to die on purpose just so we can try and get over there and see what's there. There's not even any enemies, even if I wanted to die. Okay, come on, kill me, Mr. Bacon. You seemed more scary before. I had some special Mr. Gimmick stickers that I got from uh, one of the gaming events last year, somewhere. Ah, oh, okay. It doesn't go back that far anyway. Oh, that's a shame. The one time when I want to die and go back further. <clears throat> oh wow, look how nice this looks. That is literally Kirby. It's just Kirby. Oh, I didn't know that. You can blow bubbles. Huh. When they die, they must go into the foreground, because I saw the different colour of it then. Yeah, we'll never know its secrets. Well, we might do when I die. For good. Right. Now we remember we have to go as fast as we can, because I don't want to try and take on this boss without this. Stretchy! 
the colours in this area remind me a bit of Blaster Master. A, f a fun Game Boy Color version of Illusion of Time, hidden in a secret room in a random Game Boy game. Just in the DX version too. That would be amazing. I mean, there are some games that actually hide other games, aren't there? <laughs> That'd be so funny though. And they did it just for me as well, obviously. That'd be the ultimate easter egg. Yeah, let's go down there and get the extra life. I think the thing I really like about this game is that once you've played it a few times you could probably um, memorize the level layouts because it's so easy to to remember my favorite game within a game um, oh I remember as a kid I was really excited to find out that the entire of the arcade version of Donkey Kong was in Donkey Kong 64 that was a cool little surprise back then Oh, I didn't hear what that was, sorry. I don't think my headphones are working properly, I can just hear the game. Did you guys hear it? I can see what it was, it was Kirby. Hi! I did that horribly, I'm sorry. I'll never do that again. What is that? Is that a sweet? It's a giant sweet in a sweet wrapper. Let's open that question up to everyone else as well. What's your favourite game within a game? If you can think of any. Oh wow, I only just found out if you... Wow, that was a lot faster. Oh, what? That's new. Why am I tiny? What benefit does that have? If you mash the, uh, the attack button. Oh, yeah, I remember if I go this way. Get some health. What's the benefit of being tiny? Just to look like that flea there. Hey, we got to this secret. And it didn't do anything. What was it? Sorry, Cake, I have to kill your child because for some reason I'm not allowed through there. Even though there's not even a door blocking me. Doesn't make sense. I don't know why I'm small. For increased cuteness, that is important. I feel like I missed out on all the important power-ups so. though. Good job you can still jump the same height, at least. Maybe it's maybe it's actually gonna be easier because uh, there's less for this boss to hit now. No, I don't want to be normal size. Being normal size is boring. I did that badly. Hey, yeah, this is the Game Boy Color version. Uh, there's the box for it. We're blasting through this. Are there many secrets in this game? It feels like once you've played through it once, apart from the cuteness factor, there's not much of a reason to go back to it. Look at that weird guy, he looks like a Moomin. Why have I gone tiny again? Yeah, the colours are pretty amazing, aren't they? We just played through the original to to do a comparison as well, and it's amazing seeing what a difference just having colour can make to a game. Oh my god, what? 
I don't remember him. Okay, we've got our tail attack back. Let's use it. Do we have to kill these as well? No, they're just chilling. Yeah, it is. It it does have that Mario Land kind of vibes, doesn't it? Like it's easy and quick enough to play all the way. Oh, you can just attack him by his feet. That's good. When I was fighting this guy last time, I kept going up to to attack the head. Just do that instead. Kick him in the crotch. I'd say this is more like you play this for the experience than. Uh, is there anything over there? Ah, oh, I thought if you got there before those machines start to come out, there might be a secret. Oh well. I keep thinking these are going to break as well or something, but maybe not. Ah, huh, can the robot get a flower? No. Ah, I was trapped. I'm just going to fly over them, I think. Yeah, I like the fact that you've got like no idea what to expect on each screen. Okay, let's just fly over. I mean, I guess they were basing it on Kirby's Dream Land, which is very similar, like a very short and easy game, but with a with a bunch of interesting ideas. All right, let's fight these guys again. And I say guys because they split in two like this. Are they hamsters? I think they look like hamsters. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. We have to do the next fight as well on the same health. Oh no, there is a bit more. Oh, it does fill back up. Okay. Easy, we can do this. Does he have the same amount? You've got extra moves than me, that's not fair. Okay, part three. We got a little bit further. It did feel like a Mega Man boss. Especially the fact with them being the same size as well. Hello, my friend from Ista Boy JV. Hello. How are you doing tonight? Oh, yeah, it's a shame there was no sequel. It'd be great if there was a, an official Game Boy Color update. Yes, I agree as well, Gion. That's always good when a game doesn't overstay its welcome. Oh, okay. Giant trip world robot killed me in one hit. Great. I take it that's the final boss. Ah, I'm trapped. Get out of the way. Why did I turn into a fish? Any tips for the final boss? I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to try and do this one a bit more strategically. There's Rockman Slide. He's really showing off. How come I don't get all these cool moves? Did he do that stupid game over? No. Uh, do we want to give it one more attempt? I don't think I can do save states on here, can I? Oh, level select. Okay, cool. We can start from there. I guess that counts as a save state. We can just start back from here again. That's not too bad then. We can do it. 
Uh, and then what else do you want to play? I'll play something else on the Game Boy while it's out. Uh, don't really know how many games I've got around though. We can check out Tomb Raider. I've got that one on the side. Maybe we can have a look at that after. Yeah, how do I do save states? I've never used them, to be honest. Is it memories? Uh, do you know how? Oh, save states. There we go. Press and hold analog and press up. Uh, not doing anything. How would you how would you do it on this? It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Uh, try everything and up. Okay. Start selecting down. Saves a screenshot. Select and down opens that up. Uh, nothing else seems to do anything. Why is there not just an option in here to do save state? There's no other options. Oh, I know what we can do after. We can check out some of the other consoles thanks to the uh, the accessories box that I got. No, I haven't finished Final Fantasy Legend 2 yet either. Yeah, it says in memories, it says press analog and up, but there's no analog button. I, nothing seemed to do it. Maybe you can only do it in handheld mode. Oh well, I don't need save states. Oh, maybe it's a good idea to leave that. Oh my god, that, that final hit. Up and select. Oh, you have to do it the other way around. I was holding select and up. Hold up and then press select. There we go. Yay, thank you. Uh, I didn't really find Legends 2 to be that grindy. The The problem is, every battle gives you a random number of enemies to fight, though. And sometimes you can be fighting, like, ten of the same enemy. Which is insane. Oh, I didn't mean to do that straight away. I've only properly played Legends 2. I do have Legends 1 as well. But every time I hear anything about that game, everyone says how basic it is. And you should just start on the second one, so... Maybe I should play it, but I think because I've played the second one now, it might be a bit difficult to get back to the first one. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this with one HP. We can try. Oh, no colorization for the final boss. Oh my god. Instant death. So is it down and... I guess I have to go in here. Well, there's no point yet, but... So, select an up to save. Uh, how do you enable... Quick load, where's that? Oh, enable and quick load. Okay. Hold analog and press down. Enable and quick menu. Analog and down for one second for memories list. Okay. So, up is save, down and select is load. Got it. Uh, a friend said two and three, you need to cheat the system. Yeah, there's a lot of really weird mechanics that you have to try and get to grips with. There's a, a robot that you can have in your party, and he basically eats weapons. And like, it's so it's so weird. Like, 
you have to like fill up like ten slots of his with different weapons. Can't wait to play two and three. They are good. I was really enjoying too, but yeah, it is a little bit grindy. Um Esther Boy, how is time to you? What What do you mean? Not sure what you mean there, sorry. Yeah, that's right. Depending on who you've got in your party, you have to give them different things. Oh yeah, the monsters transform as well, so you feed them... Um, you feed the monsters the, uh, the meat of the enemies that you kill. And depending on what meat it is, like, different things happen. But yeah, you don't really have any idea of what's going to happen. <laughs> what is time to me? Something we have no control over. Um, it was probably one of those Nintendo Power things, wasn't it? Ah, oh, I don't want to turn into a fish. I hate that. Why? Why is there no tail attack for this fight, either? I'm going to abuse save... This is why I don't like using save states, because I'm just going to abuse them now and not pay any attention to the game. Is this filling up my memories list? Let's see. Oh yeah, I've got loads now. I wonder if it's better to do this aggressively like this or whether it's better to... Or whether it's better to um, go a bit slower. I need to find a way of turning that thing off about how many messages I've got. I don't know why you'd want to know that. <sighs> I'm not even going to get to the third section now, am I? stuck on top of him. Yeah, what an insane difficulty spike for the end of the game. It's like, oh, you got this far. Now, have fun. Have you managed to beat it without save states? What is this insane difficulty spike? I might try and go back a, a bit more. Hey, okay. Remember which one save is. Okay, here we go. Now, avoid the bubbles. That's all I know about this one so far. Got through that one quite well. Oh! What? Do a little jump. What the hell? Well, what, what are you supposed to do there? I'm going to do a save after he's come up. Yeah, I'm going to try and learn its attack pattern. And save. Alright, let's go. So if you get too close, he kicks you. 
And if you stand back, he shoots bubbles. I guess the idea is to jump just before he fires a bubble out. And jump back before he can kick you as well. Ah, wrong button. I think we've got it. Or just do this. <laughs> Worth a try, wasn't it? This is like harder than a Mega Man final boss. Oh, maybe that's a good idea. Oh, no. Oh, he's happy! Look, his little antennas are going. I think the best thing to do is stand on his head, drop down, kick once. Ugh. Oh, he's, he's cottoned on to my idea. Hey, we did it! That wasn't too bad. Is that it? I feel half satisfied. I did cheat a little bit at the end. We rescued someone. Now it's like Undertale. That's the true final boss. It's going to crash the Game Boy. What is going on here? He's happy that he lost his flower. Yay, flower friends. And a wise dog with a magic wand, maybe. Can anyone make sense of this? <laughs> and he threw the flower on the top of the mountain. Oh yeah, I guess the flowers did brainwash him because when they get the flowers on their heads they just freeze like that. So they've been cured of the flower curse. Yay, we did it! Short and sweet game, that's what I'd call it. Ooh, listen to this music as well, I love this song. I think you might be onto something. Oh yeah, let's see if the credits are updated. Ah, clever. Yeah, literally trip world. Here we go, it does have extra credits. There he is. a new uh, logo for it too. How is my Game Boy Color collection going? I can show you. Hoping to pick up at least one more from it uh, this weekend at the gaming market. There's four more that I need. So you can see three of them there, or well, you might be able to see it. There you go. As your dreams, I'm expecting to be able to get that one for around 200 
Blaster Master, Dragon Warrior, I want complete in box. And either Metal Walker or Stranded Kids, because I'm going to try and do a top 20. So not many left, and then I can move on to that one. And I also want to do this one as well, which is for Game Boy Color exclusive games. Dragon Warrior 3, there's still a few I need to get on that one. Crystallis, Lufia, and then these three at the bottom. Yes, I don't have Oracle of Seasons, I know, it's crazy. Got Moto Racer, that's good apparently. Uh, do I have that? I'm not sure I do have that one actually. Or maybe I'm thinking of Motocross Maniacs. I've almost got all the games for my GBA Hidden Gems video that I'm planning. Like, only two more to go on that one. Uh, right, anyway, well, 